Hi guys! Here's me coming from my kitchen. I think this is the first time that you're actually seeing the kitchen from this angle. So this is it. This is our tiny little kitchen because um, it's an annex basically to the living room which is right here. And then you have me at deck. So um, as always I don't know what to talk about so I thought I will tell you about what I'm reading and what I'm planning to read after that. I'm currently reading The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot. I previously read uh, Middle March by George Eliot and Daniel Deronda and I loved both of these books. Um, I am loving The Mill on the Floss as well. It's a wonderful book exploring problematic sibling um, love and what happens when there's in what happens when in a relationship there's one person loving you and respecting you more than the other person and how like what a waste of love that is sometimes but this uh, explores you know sibling relationships more than other um, familial relationships in that context um, so I don't have any siblings but I feel like it's an accurate portrayal of that type of relationship dynamic when somebody loves the other person more than you know the other person ever could and it's wonderful um, and George Eliot is ex an excellent prose writer as you know obviously um, so yeah I'm mostly almost done with it um, and after I'm done I'm going to be reading a book that you've seen on this channel once before and it's Northanger Abbey by Jane Austen. Um, uh, this will obviously be a reread. Northanger Abbey is my favorite Jane Austen. My Jane Austen taste is quite unorthodox. Most people would say that Pride and Prejudice is their favorite Jane Austen. For me it's one Northanger Abbey, two Mansfield Park, and then three Sense and Sensibility. I think then uh, Pride and Prejudice, then Emma, and then Persuasion. Persuasion I don't like, I didn't like when I read it once, but I read it in a very like wrong time for me to read. I read it during moving and like the process of selling my house and packing everything up and selling like half my furniture. I feel like that was a bad time to read Persuasion. So I am giving, I will, I, I will give it another go definitely because um, I really didn't enjoy it and that's such a weird reaction to a Jane Austen for me. So um, I definitely will reread it in the future. But for now, um, this is because of Jane Austen July. And Jane Austen July is an event happening on booktube um, every year when in July we read Jane Austen. And um, this time the group read is Northanger Abbey. Um, if you're curious, just maybe YouTube search uh, Jane Austen July but um, Katie from the channel Book of Books and Things is one of the hosts. So it's not too late. We're only halfway through the month. So if you're willing to read some Jane Austen with me, then please do. So yes, once I'm done with the George Eliot, I'll be starting on Northanger Abbey. Um, yeah, and after that, there there's a bunch of challenges for, um, for the Jane Austen July event calendar. Um, but I'm not going to participate in all of them. Um, I don't really feel that pressure to do like all the challenges anymore. But I am definitely going to read this, probably watch an ad adaptation, maybe a Northanger Abbey. There was one with the actress that I really liked. She played Ethel in The Worst Witch, the British The Worst Witch. I don't know if you're familiar with that series at all. But Ethel from the original The Worst Witch plays Catherine Moreland in that miniseries or movie. That was a TV movie, I think, from 2007, maybe, something like that. It was good, so I think I'm going to rewatch it. Um, and after that, I am hoping to get a little bit of reading done from this book, which is a companion to Jane Austen. There's um, one, only one article on Northanger Abbey. Um, there's only a number of 
and this is quite a brick. Uh, there's only a, a number, a small number of specific articles or articles relating to specific Jane Austen books. And then there's a bunch of intertextual ones, um, sort of thematically, uh, thematically grouped. But um, there's one on Northanger Abbey for sure, and I'll be looking for some themes also, like Gothic literature themes um, in that book to read some articles from also. And then um, I'm also going to, I'll, I'll probably read a bunch more books, but um, one that I definitely will have to read because I borrowed it um, from my friend is The Making of, the Mar of a Marchioness by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I love The Secret Garden. I love The Little Princess. So I was really, really curious um, about this novel from Frances Hodgson Burnett. Um, and I, you know, I basically love all of the Persephone books um, that I have read so far. So uh, it's a pretty good track record <laughs> so far. Um, so I'm pretty optimistic about it. So in other news, uh, my jaw pain has been pretty bad recently. I don't know if you knew this, but I suffer from bruxism. And what it is, is involuntary grinding of the teeth. Mostly during the night, um, I basically grind my teeth um, as much as I can, as strongly as I can um, during the night um, involuntarily. And um, this leads to a lot of pain, not only in jaw area, but also ear pain and um, headache and um, a lot of stress. And um, so yeah, um, I wear um, teeth guards, which are, you know, designed specifically to alleviate the grinding. Um, and I, I take a bunch of like muscle relaxants and, and pain medication, but it's been pretty bad recently. So, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with it, but, um, it's been pretty bad in terms of pain. Um, I've been quite comfortable like with, um, relaxation exercises and, um, and also the, the, the mouth guard working actually. Um, I've been pretty comfortable like learning to open my jaw a little bit more every time, like, you know, progressively trying to open my mouth more. Um, it's not like in the past where I like wouldn't be able to open my, my mouth at all. And I would have like a lot of trouble eating stuff. Um, I'm better about that, but just in terms of pain itself, it's pretty uncomfortable. So that's basically what's going on. And um, that's why I'm doing a bunch of this reading to alleviate all of that. So um, I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.